As an illustration of random variate generation, consider the following example. Estimate the population median of the distribution with cumulative distribution function capital F of X is equal to 0 for X less than or equal to 0 X squared over 4 on the support values X between 0 and 2 and 1 for X greater than or equal to 2 and we're going to estimate that population median by Monte Carlo simulation. Now before we use Monte Carlo simulation to solve this problem the analytic solution is fairly easy so let's go through with that first. In order to find a population median we can take the cumulative distribution function which in this case is x squared over 4 and because it's the population median that is half the area under the probability density function is one half to the left of the median and the area to the right of the median is also one half so we can take that x squared over 4 and set it equal to one half. Solving this for x will give us the population median. Multiply both sides of this equation by 4 and you get x squared is equal to 2. Finally to solve for x you'll take the square root of both sides and that will give you x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Now we can discard negative square root of 2 because we know that's not the population median because the support of the distribution goes from 0 to 2 so the median has to fall in that range so I'm going to write this as x is equal to the square root of 2. Now a lot of times because this is a percentile of the distribution namely the median we will attach the subscript 0 0.5 down here to show that it's the 50th percentile or the population median. Now let's try Monte Carlo simulation. In Monte Carlo simulation what we want to do is we want to invert the cumulative distribution function. Well the way you do that is you can take the cumulative distribution function on the support which is the interesting part here in the middle and you can set that equal to u and you can solve that for x. And when you solve that for x, you will get x is f inverse of u. And how do you solve this for x? I guess you multiply both sides by 4. Now you have x squared equals 4u. And then you take the positive square root and you're going to get 2 times the square root of u and this is where u is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So in order to get a random variant all we have to do is take a uniform 0 1 random variable plug it in here for you take its square root double it and that will give us a random variant and that's exactly what we're going to do on the next page. Here is some R code and this R code is used to run the Monte Carlo simulation. You can see there are only two lines of R code, so it's a very short Monte Carlo simulation. Let's go ahead and start right here with R unif, which has appeared before. R is for random, unif is for the uniform distribution. So this is the generator for uniform 0, 1 random variates, also known as random numbers. I decided to generate 10,001 of these. In Monte Carlo you'll choose some fairly large number here. I chose 10,001. It's a big number but also you have an odd number and so it's easier to take the median of an odd number of observations. What we have here now is a vector in R of 10,001 uniform zero ones. If you take the square root of each element and then double them, now you're going to have a vector x of 10,001 random variates from the distribution whose CDF was described on the previous slide. The second line of code here starts out by sorting those 10,001 values 
and then you pick off what is known as the sample median which is the 5000 and first element and that right there will be a Monte Carlo estimate of the population median. When you run these two statements once you get 1.4217. You should not run a Monte Carlo simulation just once. You should run it several times and I ran it five times here. And here are the other five results when you run the Monte Carlo. Notice that each time you get a fresh, a fresh set of uniform zero ones and because you get a fresh set of uniform zero ones you're going to get a fresh set of X's which means you will get a different median each time. Now the analytic solution from the previous page was the square root of 2 which is 1.142 and notice that this is slightly above that this is just barely above it this is below it this is above it and this is below it so you have them hovering around the analytic solution three on one side two on the other and because of this we can say that the Monte Carlo simulation supports doesn't verify but it supports the analytic solution.